is how we can pull some of the things we've done together just to create um, a bit more of an interesting image. Uh, so we are going to create Evil Pac-Man and we're going to be focusing on this gradient tool. Um, and also you should be starting to think about the shapes that you want to create and whether they're a combination of sort of common shapes like circles or squares where you need to draw it from scratch or it's an adapt adaptation of a common shape. So I'm going to start with a circle. So remember it's the ellipse tool and hold down shift. Now what I want to do is have a sort of Pac-Man mouth coming in here. So I'm going to go to the add anchor point tool. I'm going to go one, two, three. Just zoom in on that so it's obvious what I was doing. With the direct select tool, I'm just going to click here and give myself a sort of mouthpiece over here. I'm going to open that up a bit. Command and or Control and zero just to recenter the screen. Now, I want to look at the gradient fill. So I'm gonna select the fill. At the moment, it's a white fill. I want them to be evil, so I'm gonna make them red. And I'm gonna turn on this gradient option. Now that's defaulted into black and white. Now down here, I've got my gradient sliders. So at the moment, it's on a linear gradient. So if I click over here, I can just turn that to a radial gradient. Now it's black around the edge, white around the middle, and you can see as I move these around, the gradient will change. So what I want to do, I'm going to change this white one by double, cl I double clicked on that there, turn it to red, and I want that to, that's a bit too harsh. So what I'm going to do here is double click on this and just choose a darker red. And change that one. There we go, so it's got a bit more effect on it. Now there's lots more we can do with the gradient. We can change where the center of the gradient and things are like that by using the gradient tool, but we'll stick with this for now. Now the next thing we need to think about is order of layers. So I'm gonna give this guy an eye. So I want this to have a heavy black outline and just a white fill. I take this, I'm gonna rotate this slightly and bring it up over here. Now, because I've created these in the order I wanted to, um, they've just appeared on top. So every time you create a new shape, that appears above it. Now we can create levels within Illustrator to help us organize things. But one of the things you might have to do every now and again is right click on an object no, it's not done it for me. There we go. And just come down to arrange and either bring to the front or send to the back. So for example, if this was brought to the front, I can't see the eye. The eye's still there. I just can't see it. So I'm just going to undo twice and it's back there. So have a think about the order of things. Now to make this a bit more interesting, what I want you to do is make it evil vampire. Again, I just want you to give it some sharp pointy teeth. So one, two, three, direct select tool. One, two, three, grab the middle one, some sharp pointy teeth. To resize the screen, I'm pressing Command or Control and zero. Not the little row, that opens a file. Okay, so there we have it, Evil Vampire Pac-Man. You could even do a bit more detail on the eye for me, give it a spiky sort of Sonic Hedgehog hairdo or something. As with before, make sure you're screen grabbing all of this and explaining how you created each image. Excellent.